Hi everyone, Andrew Johns here from the Cash Management Group at Canaccord Genuity. Today we're going to look at Skeena Resources and share with you some exclusive research by our Canaccord Genuity analysts. But first, some important information. Skeena Resources is a mining company based out of Vancouver. They're currently in development stage of their flagship SK Creek project, a gold and silver mine located in northwestern British Columbia. The SK Creek mine was originally discovered in 1988. It was once the world's highest grade gold mine and fifth largest silver mine by volume. It was originally opened by Barrick Gold in 1994 and operated until 2008 before Barrick decided to cease operations due to the, at that time, low gold prices and increased costs. The original mine focused primarily on high-grade deposits and ignored other less concentrated deposits nearby. Skeena acquired SK Creek in October of 2020 after initial exploration of the site revealed high-grade gold and silver deposits that were relatively untouched by previous operations. The deal was completed strictly through equity, which gave Barrick around 12% ownership in Skeena Resources at the time of closing. When analyzing mining companies, it is important to be aware of National Instrument 43101. You'll hear a lot of mining people talk about 43101 reports. Basically, any Canadian-based public mining company is legally required to follow a set of reporting standards. These were standards that were introduced shortly after the Briex scandal in 1997, when a mining company announced that it had found 8% of the world's gold reserves in a single mine. Many of us remember that story. These claims were revealed to be completely fraudulent and the stock subsequently crashed by $6 billion from its peak valuation. The 43101 rules require mining companies to undergo three pre-development studies. The studies are completed by third parties to signal to the market the potential of a mine. The 43101 reporting requirement truly raised the bar for accountability of mining companies. This is evident in the fact that 43% of the world's public mining companies are listed on the TSX. Skeena is currently awaiting results of its feasibility study, which is the last of the three pre-production reports to prove the economics of this operation. The initial two reports, the preliminary economic assessment and the pre-feasibility study, valued the mine at $1.2 billion and then eventually $1.4 billion respectively. If the feasibility study confirms or even improves on the previous studies, we could see a quick move in the stock price. On top of the numbers, Skeena has employed a progressive environmental and social policy. Directly partnering with the local Taltan First Nations government, to protect 3,500 hectares of land and continuously collaborate on the project. Environmentally, the mine is also planned to be one of the lowest emission open mines in the world, largely due to the previously established infrastructure and nearby hydroelectric sites. Considering the current findings from the pre-feasibility study and external factors, Canaccord Genuity analyst Kevin McKenzie has assigned a buy rating to the stock and a $20 price target. If you'd like any additional details on the company and our full research report, make sure to reach out to our team at 604-643-0101. Thanks very much for tuning in. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. We'll report back with you more details as they unfold.